your Oreo TV on October 2nd, 2018. Spirit Dress for Wednesday is Winner Wednesday, Athletes versus Mathletes. Embrace your inner nerd today or wear your favorite sports jersey tomorrow. Once again, tickets must be turned in at the end of the day, 7th hour to be eligible to earn a prize. Thursday is class colors and Friday is school spirit. Wear your orange and black. Seniors, on October 17th, Moraine Park will be hosting Discover MPTC. This event includes hands-on demos, application fee waivers, campus tours, and financial aid support. If considering attending MPTC, this is an event you won't want to miss. Now let's go to Harmony with the Weather. Hey guys, it's Harmony with your Oreo Weather. Today it is currently 56 with a high of 59, a low of 51, and a 1% chance of precipitation. Tomorrow we have a high of 80, a low of 44, and a 50% 50, 50 chance of precipitation. And the quote is, fear has two meanings. Forget everything and run, or face everything and rise. The choice is yours. Quoted by Zig Ziglar. Shout out to Jenna Blesso for this quote. That's all for today. Back to Paige in the studio. Thank you, Harmony. Marion University will be here Wednesday, October 3rd at 1 p.m. That's tomorrow. UW Oshkosh will be here Tuesday, October 9th, next week, 8th period. If you are attending the Halloween hike on Friday, October 19th, you may pick up your permission slips from Ms. Hints in room 125. They are due Friday, October 12th. Well, now let's kick it to Serena with the sports. Hey guys, welcome back to your All Access Orioles. I'm Serena with your sports. Last night the JV2 football game got rained out, it's alright, and the JV2 volleyball girls lost, but I think it's fine. <laughs> Tonight there is a varsity boys soccer game at Amro versus Amro at 4.30. Next Thursday, if you want to be in powerlifting, there is a meeting right after school that will last no longer than 10 minutes. And if you are planning on being in powerlifting, please attend that meeting and please turn in all of your paperwork to the office if you want to start participating. Starting this Sunday, there is Basketball Girls Open Gym. This Sunday it will start at 6.30, but it normally will start at 6. That's all I have. Now let's go back to Paige in the studio. Thank you, Serena. UW Fond du Lac is hosting a campus preview event on Tuesday, October 9th and Friday, October 19th. These events are promoted to high school students and their families who are interested in learning about who we are and how we fit into the higher education landscape. The best part about these events is that students get to hear from faculty, staff, and current students, a variety of voices which gives them a better version of what you expect if you choose them. Seniors, if you miss the Horseman Financial Aid, night on Wednesday. There is another opportunity to learn the ins and outs of financial aid on October 3rd. That's tomorrow at 6 at the Fond du Lac High School in the PAC. Now let's flip the page to Mr. Forsyth with the joke of the day. Hey Mr. Wismer, yeah. do you know what they call winners in Chicago? Cubs? No, 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 that would be losers. Uh, Brewers. The visitors. The visitors. <laughs> <laughs> so Brew Crew. Yeah, Brewers. This side. Thank you, Mr. Forsyth. Homecoming tickets will be on sale this week during both lunches on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Cost will be fifteen dollars per ticket. Please bring your school ID to the dance if purchasing a ticket at the door. Guests need to be approved by the office. Well, that's all from your Oreo TV. We will see you guys on Winter Wednesday. And here's a short announcement from Miss Fox about a book. I'm Mrs. Fox. My favorite book is The Book Thief. It is a historical fiction book, and it's not usually a type of book that I would read, but it's really good. It's really hard to put down. It's about World War II Germany and a girl who goes to her, a new foster family, and all she wants to do is learn to read and write. And it's really cool, the relationship she develops with her foster parents, kind of similar to some relationships I have in my life with some parent life figures. So it kind of hit home with that. So very good book, really hard to put down once you get started on it. So The Book Thief, it's a really good one. <laughs>